The monthly salary of a person was 1,60,000. He used to spend on 3 head. Personal and family taxes, education loan. Rest were his savings. P was 50% of the income. E was 20% of P. T was 15% of V. When his salary got raised by 30%, he maintained the percentage level of P. But E became 30% of P. T became 20% of V. Then sum of two savings. Here, initially salary of this person was 1,60,000. He used to spend on three heads. One is personal and income. Second is taxes. And third one is education. Now remaining is the savings here. P was 50% of the income. And E was 20% of P. 20% means 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 of P means 1 by 5 of 50%. 1 by 5 of 50 is equal to 10. So, E is 10% is here. And T was 15% of E. So, T here is equal to 15% of E. E is, it, e is 10%. So, 15% of 10% means 1 by 10. So, here this is equal to 1.5%. T is 1.5%. Then remaining is the savings. 50 plus 10 is 60. 100 minus 60 is 40. 40 minus 1.5 is 38.5 percentage. It's the savings from this 1,60,000. Now the salary got increased by 30 percentage. 10 percentage of 1,60,000 is 16,000. Then 30 percentage is equal to 3 into 16,000. That is 48,000. So 1,60,000 plus 40,000 is 2 lakh. 2 lakh plus 8,000 is 2,8,000 is the new salary here now out of this he maintained the level of p that is 50 percentage and here e became 30 percentage of p 30 percentage means 30 by 100 that is t by 3 by 10 so 3 by 10 of p p is equal to 50 percentage now 10 10 cancel here 3 into 5 is 15 percentage so e is 15 percentage and T became 20% of E. 20% of means 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 of E means 1 by 5 of 15 is equal to 3. So T is equal to 3%. Now remaining is equal to savings which is 50 plus 18 is 68. So 100 minus 68 is 32% is the savings here. So savings here is equal to 32%. Then here total savings S1 plus S2 is equal to 38.5 percentage of 1,60,000 plus 32 percentage of 2,8,000. Now here this is equal to if you look at this 16 is equal, 32 is equal to 16 into 2. Now I can take 16k percentage outside 16k percentage means divide by 100 so 16k percentage means 16k by 100 now remaining is equal to 38.5 into 10 is 385 and here 2 into 208 is equal to 416 so this will become 400 plus 300 700 700 plus 100 800 so 801 801 into 16k by 100 means 160 now here 0 at the end 1 into 6 will give you 6. So, 6, 0 at the end. If you look at the option here, we have 6, 0 at the end. So, option 2 is your answer. That is 1,28,160.